Do you like using panniers as motorcycle luggage, but aren't a fan of the scaffolding being left on your bike all the time? Then the Lone Rider Rackless Moto Bags could be right up your straza. Down in the this traditional pillion bag racking system utilises the tried and tested rack with the pannier bags, everything bolts onto this rack. Lone Rider, I've got a new idea and it involves getting rid of this and utilising these. They're rackless moto bags. Now these are specifically designed for the GS uh, Vario racking system. It's the sort of default system BMW has for the GSs. They have mounting points already built into the bike without the rack and these new bags simply slot into them and I am going to fit it to this bike and see how we get on. Right then, the Lone Rider Rackless Moto Bags. What do you get for your £1,099? Yes, I said that. £1,099. These are premium bags, folks, and you're paying for that premium quality. However, they're on par with the sort of hard luggage that's out there if you were also going to have to buy the racking system that you would use for them. These are all in one. They do them for the GS, the GS Adventure, a couple of other bikes. Check out their website, links down below. One side, the non-exhaust side, that's your 38 litre, just like the previous moto bags. So that's the 38 litre that's on there. This one, the exhaust side, that is 31 litres. Now, typical Lone Rider, I tell you, their packaging is substantial. I'd be very surprised if after spending your hard-earned money, anything is damaged in transit. They do a cracking job, but this is what you get in the box. In fact, have a look down here. So what's in the box? Well, it all comes in one big package. We do like a big package. I've got to stop being such a kid. Let me get rid of this. Dispose of the box appropriately. So you see, uh, everything's sealed up. Uh, we bag there, all comes in one bundle. I said this before, they really do do the packing well at Lone Rider. Should do for the money. <laughs> so this thing here, although this is soft luggage, it is semi-rigid. So this thing here, just like the other moto bags that were fitted to the, the racking system, you can pop out the bag. In fact, I'll show you. This goes in the bag, but first this. Obviously, there's the lining bag itself. The bags are uh, totally waterproof and dustproof, and this just adds yet another waterproof layer. So all your kit goes in these bags, and then these bags go in the big bags themselves. Get a bag full of bits and bobs. There's loads of stickers. There's key tag on there. There's a shoulder strap if you need it. There's spare uh, straps for the Muli system. Uh, there's a few nuts and bolts and things if you need it. There comes with the star Allen key that fits obviously all the bolts that are on the bags themselves. And you get the padlock to secure up your bags and the keys for the bags themselves. And then that is it. These are the bags themselves. Just clip this down, expand out the back like so. So there you go, that's your bags there. So they will, if you take out that rigid bit of plastic here, which goes inside them, you can just take that out if you like, and you can just flatten the bags. So they could be on the bike effectively like that, just flat, and there's straps all included to keep them shut. If you wanted to do that, I mean, why you'd want to do that with this quick release system? Because it literally takes seconds to take these off the bike. But you might want to ride around with these fitted to the bike flat. It's up to you, whatever. Something I do like is that when they ship all this stuff, it's all totally protected. So any exposed parts, they wrap and they protect everything. You can see here, even all the plastic buckles, which are pretty tough themselves, but they even wrap them all up as well. But to be fair, for over a thousand pounds, you want these things to arrive in pristine condition, don't you? So to make these bags rigid, we just need to add that reinforcement plate. So you just take this, now it comes sort of pre-bent this way, but I find what you have to do is you have to bend it the other way for the Velcro to work in the bag. So just line them up so you've got a rough idea where the middle is. Slide that into the bag. We'll go for the top down shot here. So you see here, there's a little flap. Lift that up, that'll expose Velcro. Line that up with the top of your reinforcement. 
strip, whack that in, fold the flap down to secure it in place, push your, your board home, and then that is it. Let me grab a little light here so you can see. So, there you go. That at the bottom there, that's that reinforcement strip. There's your Velcro flap and the top of the reinforcement strip there with its Velcro, that just folds down, secures it in place. You've got the same on this side here and that holds the bag open. And then to shut, this is a typical roll top system. Obviously you put all your kit into these red bags here, you whack them in and then you just roll it shut and then there's a little convenient hook there. Just let me show you on this top down section here. See this, this hook here, take that and just hook it underneath and then line up this nipple with the hole there, line that up and you can then use the provided branded Lone Rider padlocks to secure your luggage. Or you could use your own padlocks obviously if you like. The whole thing works on a molly system, the military molly system. You can see here, see all these molly grips there? All these bags are covered in them. There's even a Velcro patch there so you can attach your flag of choice. Obviously I know which one to attach here. Freedom! Boom. Other flags are obviously available, and that is you. Now, how does the actual locking system itself work? You can see here, there's your keyhole. It's not necessary to use the key. These will just lock in place anyway, but obviously, if you don't lock it, anyone can come along and just push this button, and that's it. That's a simple locking system. You can see here. So when you push down on this and lift, that's how the mechanism works. And then this, if you come here, there's more. Just realized that previous shot, you were probably looking at my uh, chest down. Sorry about that, because I'd been focusing on the box on the floor. So the bags themselves, they utilize the rear foot peg on the GSs. Now the GS Adventures, I believe, and some of the other GS models, like the 750, 850, those sort of ones, uh, maybe even the 1200 as well. I don't think they have this part, so there are various adapters available on the Lone Rider website, so make sure you check them out. On the frame itself, on the packing system, there's a little section there which you just locate over that, and then these hooks, they just clip straight into the, the OEM Vario luggage points and then done. That is it, that's it on, secure as you like. It's going nowhere, there's some flexibility there to move so it's not absolutely totally rigid but this stuff won't come off. And that is that. I filmed that back in June folks, all the tours I've done in 2023 have been with the Rackless Moto bags. Probably got a good 10, maybe even 15,000 mile experience with them now. What's my thoughts? Great bits of kit. Um, any difference at all between them and the previous Pannier rack system? Uh, not in terms of like weight distribution and what you feel when you're riding, didn't feel any different to me. One thing I did notice was that the bags tend to sort of hang in a little bit more. You know, if you're looking at it from the back of the bike, I think I've got some footage here. You can see the, the bottoms of the bag just sort of tilt in a little bit. It's not such a, a rigid sort of mounting system. A Lone Rider do actually recommend that if you're going to be going off-road, you don't use the Rackless Moto bags, you stick to the traditional pannier system and I definitely agree with that. Are they worth over a thousand pounds? Gee whiz. I do think it's steep, you know a thousand pounds is a lot of money but if you look at effectively their competition in terms of what you're getting from this, okay yeah it's soft luggage but it's got the benefits of soft luggage combined with the benefits of hard luggage. You have that security there. These bags, you're not going to get into these bags, they're almost resistant to, to to knives. There's footage on the Lone Rider website of them being dragged behind a truck down some roads in Africa on a bike with a bike cartwheeling along. The bags are fine. You can lock these bags up either with the Lone Rider padlock or one of your own to keep everything nice and secure. And whether you're using the Rackless Moto bags or the quick release system on the previous Moto bags, it's seconds, literally seconds to take these bags on and off the bike. If it's down to convenience, security, practicality, and looks, then I definitely think they're right up there, personally. I think it's a bit of a push to say is it worth a thousand pounds, but when the competition's up there, you know, they're pricing themselves at the top of the market for sure. Check out the Lone Rider website if you're after some more details. Big thanks to Lone Rider for sending me these bags to try out. And folks, however you secure your own luggage, just get it done, get on out there, and live your life. Ooh-ha!